Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting equation. What kind of equation are we dealing with? I'd like to say it's a polynomial, but it's not because the powers are not non-negative integers. We have x to the power ln 25 plus x to the power ln 36 equals x to the power ln 30. 30. So we kind of have like a power equation with irrational powers, or should I say transcendental powers, which makes this problem even more interesting. So you have a problem that is very non-standard. How do you go about solving it? So it's kind of like this. Think about it like an, maybe something similar. x to the power root 2 plus x to the power root 3 equals x to the power root 5. How do you solve such an equation, right? Well, you could probably divide everything by something so that at least you can get a 1 from this, right? Maybe since x to the power root 5 is the highest power, maybe we can divide both sides by x to the power root 5. And that would give us something like this. x to the power root 2 minus root 5 plus x to the power root 3 minus root 5 equals 1. Okay, maybe this wasn't a very good example. Maybe I could pick some other numbers, but you get the idea. The exponents are very irrational. Okay, and you hopefully know the difference between transcendental numbers and algebraic numbers, which are two categories of irrational numbers. They are very different, right? Pi is transcendental, square root of 2 is algebraic. Anyways, so this is pretty non standard. So, how do you go about solving it? Let's say you kind of reduce it to a certain form, and here you might think about dividing both sides by x to the power ln 30 or something else, but again, you would run into so many difficulties, right? So this is very problematic. So we kind of need to do something different. And what is that thing? That's what we're going to talk about today, okay? So this equation is pretty non-standard and there seems to be no way of solving it because if you had something like this, x squared plus x cubed equals x, obviously we could put everything on the same side, right? And then factor out x, and that would give us x plus x squared minus 1 equals 0, and obviously we know that x equals 0 is a solution, and this is a quadratic which can be solved, you know, with the root 5 and so on and so forth. Can we not do the same thing here? Maybe factor out the highest? Let's give it a try. I mean the smallest. So why don't we just put everything on the same side so that we can set it equal to 0? So... My goal is to show you some stuff first and then get into what I'm going to talk about because this is very, very special. I hope you appreciate that. But anyways, here uh, I'm thinking about the greatest common factor, which would, have, uh, which would be the exponent, the lowest exponent, the smallest one. Okay. In this case, that will be x to the power ln 25. Good. Let's take it out. We're going to get 1 plus x to the power ln 36 minus ln 25 minus x to the power ln 30 minus ln 25. Now, one thing that's good about it is that our powers are positive, And when you set it equal to 0, yes, again, we end up with x equals 0. But what about the other solutions? Are there any other solutions? How many solutions are there? Those are good questions. Right? We're going to try to answer them. But at least we know at this point that, yes, x equals 0 is a solution. And you could probably tell that, right? Looking at the original problem, yay, 0 plus 0 equals 0. Duh. I mean, come on. You could probably get that real quick. But the most important part is either find the other solutions or prove that there are no other solutions. How do we go about doing that, right? So is this going to help us? If we set it equal to 0, we're going to get, again, two irrational or transcendental powers of x being subtracted and that is equal to 1, mm, I don't think that's going to help. I could be wrong, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I doubt it. So let's go ahead and talk about what we are trying to do here. We're going to be using a very special identity here, or maybe you can call it a formula. And what is that? It is the following. If you have a to the power log c with base b, then here we could kind of switch the outer numbers. What does that mean? You see the A, you see the C, they could be switched. And this will be equal to C to the power log B 
or log A with base B. Notice that A and C switch roles, but it doesn't matter. Why? Because if you call this, let's say, you call this X and log both sides base B and call this Y, again, log both sides base B, you're going to get the same thing, which means they were equal in the first place. Make sense? Good. So that's really nice property, but how does it apply to our situation? That's the million dollar question. No, not really. It's actually a very easy question to answer. So in other words, x to the power ln 25. Here the base, notice that the base is not changed, right? The base is still the b. So ln, which means base e, which is what I use for natural log or ln, some, sometimes well, from alpha, I mean, not sometimes, all the time, it's going to write ln as log, but that's kind of dumb. I don't know. I don't like it. Uh, so ln is unchanged. So in other words, we can say that, okay, x to the power ln 25 is the same as, now, what are you going to switch? x and 25. You see that? So the base will go here and x will go here. And this is just awesome, simply amazing. You know why? Because our expression, this can be done over and over. So now, oops, I messed stop the writing x to the power ln 36 can be written as 36 to the power ln x, and x to the power ln 30, just similarly, can be written as 32, I mean 30 to the power ln x. Now take a look at this. We can go ahead and use all these expressions on the right-hand side and rewrite our equation in a much nicer way. Why is it much nicer? You'll see. So once we make that transformation, we're going to have the following equation, right? Take a look at this. They all have the same exponent. Beautiful. So we have something like a to the x plus b to the x equals c to the x. How do you solve those equations? You divide by the highest number, right? With the exponent, of course. In this case, 36 is the highest. But before I do it, allow me to use substitution because substitution is awesome. Why don't we call ln x y? And you're like, why? Don't question. Okay, don't ask why. So now we have the following. 25 to the power y plus 36 to the power y equals 30 to the power y. Great. Now, since 36 is the highest base, let's go ahead and divide everything by 36 to the power y. And this will give us a really nice equation. You're going to no notice in a little bit uh, because we've done these problems before. If you checked other videos on my channel, you probably noticed that, yes, this is a really cool way to transform equations into this form. And this is exponential. Not only that, to make matters not worse but better, we have a special scenario. Because look at this. This is 25 over 36. By the way, 30 over 36 can be simplified. Divide by 6. You're going to get 5 over 6 to the power of y, which makes this equation really special. Because 25 over 36 is what? Have you thought of that? 5 over 6 squared. Yes. So... If you raise both sides to the power y, you get something super duper special. Again, you get 5 over 6 squared to the power y. So in other words, if this is t, another substitution, this will be t squared. Beautiful. Now we get a quadratic equation. You see the transformation? We go from uh, some type of power equation, which is pretty non-standard, which is not solvable as is to an exponential, and to the, from the exponential, we go to a quadratic. How nice is that? Now, let's put everything on the same side. Uh-oh, we don't have any real solutions. Too bad, but that's okay. Let's just, let me just show you how this works, and then we'll finish up with that. You can easily find by the quadratic formula, 1 plus minus the square root of 3i over 2, which are cube roots of negative 1, right? But negative 1 is excluded, of course. Only two of them, and there's three of them. Now, what is t? t is 5 over 6 to the power y. So if you set, let's, choose, let's just do one of them because the other one is very similar. You can go ahead and natural log both sides. This should give you y ln 5 over 6 equals ln 1 plus root 3i over 2. And this will actually give you something interesting. Let me go ahead and simplify the natural log part. First, what is the ln of a complex number? First, you have to ln the modulus. The modulus of this complex number is 1, by the way, because it's sine and cosine. Think about it. So ln 1 is 0, but we can still write it, plus i times the argument. The argument is going to be given by tangent, which is root 3, and that will be pi over 3. 
This is zero. So here's the answer. Ready? Y equals I pi over three divided by ln 546. Of course, this is one of the solutions. Uh-oh. Uh we're not solving for y, we're solving for x. What is the relationship? y is ln x. So let's go ahead and set this equal to ln x. And x will be e to the power i pi over 3 over ln 5 over 6. And guess what? e to the power i pi over 3 can be written as cosine pi over 3 plus i sine pi over 3. And that will be cosine pi over 3. That will be cosine 60, which is sine 30, which is 1 half. I was about to write root 3, but it's 1 half. And this is root 3 over 2i. And then that is the number to the power ln 5 over 6, but that's with a 1 over. So it's going to look like this, which is really weird, but I don't know. You can convert it to so many other forms. And to take care of that, you could use exponentiation or the complex exponentiation one more time. But this is one of the solutions, and you'll find the other one, right? And this brings us to the end of this video. Uh-oh. The only real solution is z equals, I mean, x equals zero. And this is just another one. And there's one more. Of course, those are imaginary or complex solutions, right? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. By the way, I have a channel dedicated to complex numbers. If you like them, go ahead and check out A plus BI. See you there. Bye-bye.